Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your humble host, Cobra James here. And we are back in again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 episode. I hope you guys are ready. Let's hit story and let's jump right back into this amazing game. Let's go. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, where we left off, we went on a boat ride with, with our boys, the original Trinity, which was Dutch, Hosea, and Arthur. We learned a little bit about the old past. And we learned a little bit about our group. Like, we were the beginners. We were the beginning. We also had to save Trelawney from being sent to prison, which was interesting. Because they said that he was trying to run a gold scam. But besides that, we we did like a two-parter in that episode. Which was, we also did a Sadie mission. And we saw that, we learned a bit, little bit about Sadie and her husband. And about their past. And about how they split work half and half. And how she... They, there was no alpha in their household, which was weird in this time. So, it was like they were both equal in this household and they split everything equal, which was interesting in this timeline. And Sadie, Sadie's, Sadie's cool. I like Sadie because she can handle herself. She knows how to work a gun and she knows how to fight her way out of trouble. So, yeah, Sadie's cool, but besides that, we learned a lot. And also, sorry about that, <laughs> had to yawn, but besides that, we went on a lot of missions, we learned a lot about the gang, we also went fishing, as I said, and yeah, it was interesting, we also had to beat up a lot of guys on a train, because yeah, uh, we're working for the law now. Somehow, we have become the law, which is kind of weird, but, eh. Hopefully, they don't find out about our extremely huge bounty and those super agents that Trelawney mentioned in the last episode, but... Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are ready, let's jump right back in to this incredible game. Let's go! Alright, I got a new journal entry. Yo, okay, I want to go do that first. Alright, yep, auto save. Okay, we got a lot of new stuff to do, but I want to do this first. You see this? This is a house robbery job. I'm gonna go do this. And it's with our boy Sean. Hey, yes. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> You ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Alright, let's get you our horses, boys. Time to rob cool, a homestead. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so, so far I really do and like, like, I, I would really have to say I like Sean a lot, and also why is my horse going so slow? No. I would like, I would like to book it, horse. Come on, let's go. There we go. But I really do like Sean in this game. He's How really cool. Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch is always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. <laughs> I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. 
Touch is good at seeing things in people. Hmm. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. Hmm, all right, you sure about You're this? You sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Hey, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Easy. Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. All right, and left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All Hard right. left, all right. Be off the road up ahead. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Easy. Here, go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Okay, so I need to hog tie one doing. of them. Hey, so as I was saying, I did really want to want to go into depth about what we need to do, but yeah, okay, so we need to hog tie at least one of them because we need to keep at least one of them alive, so. I, I was going to say we should knock them out, but I think hog tying would work better because what if knocking Look, them out might count as a outside. kill? This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. But yeah, I like Sean. He's really good. And he's no snitch. Man, I got my Lancaster. Oh, I have high velocity rounds, and no, I'm just gonna use my regular rounds. Hey there! Oh! oh. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we got six posse alarmin' headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. All right, let's go. Watch it. They're coming in. Ah. Ah. Wait, we need to keep at least one alive. One alive. Ah. But no, no, no. Okay. okay. Out the woods. One. You're gonna be the, li the live one here, boy. You're gonna be snitching for us. You're the only one left. Give it up now. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. All right, threaten. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right. Take it easy. Behind the the wall in the bedrooms. If you stick your hand between the gap. All right. You go grab the money. Both Dismiss. Keep an sunshine here. Go. Get out of here. Never come back. All right, we're gonna loot those bodies later. Homeowner has revealed a secret spot. All right, let's go get some money. All right, so he said behind the wall. 
in the bedroom. Oh, there's a gun. There's a gun box. Oh, here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Okay, I dropped my other gun for that gun, but I like this gun too. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go get so far by myself. A proper lead. It said where he said behind the wall in the bedroom. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. A loose board, a loose board, okay. Where is it? Hidden stash, there we go. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know a successful what job. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. You can discover homesteads by exploring the world. There will be more, more. There will be often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads and the method to make more money. All right, I can read the rest because I was such a slow reader right there. All right, but. Unknown animal. Let's loot all their bodies and let's get out of here. We got a new gun too. The double action pistol. Double action revolver. Ooh, this might come in handy. I, I, I need to start upgrading guns. I need to, and I also need to, what's it called? I need to start uh, getting a new horse. I need to buy a new horse next. $56. And we spared that, guys, because I didn't really. If, if you don't need to die, I'll let you live. If you don't need to die from here on out, I'll let you live. But if you try to kill us, that's a whole different story, boy. Alright, cheese. Let's go. There's a stranger there. Look the strangers. Good. There's one more back here, which was the one I hogtied up. Wait, did the one I hogtied escape? Or was this guy just shot? Might have been shot, not sure. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, stranger, stranger. Let's see what's happening up here. at I'm sorry no I'm sorry I'm ruined ruined how so it's a disaster who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals come to America they said come to the land of opportunity they said sod you daddy I said I'm going to America to make it on the stage I didn't want to be in the army Ooh. now look at me the old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. 
Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra, just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam? It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Okay. Interesting Margaret. fellow. Mistress of fucking danger. Okay, Find the escaped animals. There's yep. one up here. Might as well go help him help her out. And after that we will be good. So let's go help her out and see what happens. Wait, that is for her, right? I just need to make sure real quick. Ooh, it's up near Emerald Ranch. Yep, it, this is for Margaret. Alright, after that, let's go back down and we're gonna go do Hmm, let's go do a Dutch mission. Yeah, Dutch Vandalin. But after that, yeah, we're gonna chill. We also, in the next episode, I will be doing that Leopold Strauss mission. Be careful. Alright, let's go. So yeah, I do believe we do need a new horse soon. That's a one star. I had to make sure. But yeah, in the next... We, well, not in the next episode, but over time, as we continue playing, we do need a new horse. Bad. Yo, three star? Oh, I need a, I need a rifle. Alright, that sucks. I don't mind. Is that medicine? Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I can repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? I'm about to offer him a ride, but I guess he can't. And Arthur already cut in. He was like, just stay out of here, okay, buddy? Why is he out in the middle of nowhere anyway? Like, you asked to get bitten? Oh, wait, look, we'll study this boar. Just understand him a bit. Okay, I need a, ri I need a rifle. I need to buy a rifle. Margaret's missing zebra. Zebra. <laughs> I'm kidding. Zebra was last spotted in this area. Is this thing? Yeah. Look here. Oh my God. He's cool. What they done to you? That's not a zebra. That's a freaking horse. And that's a mule. I had a bad feeling. I did not think that was going to be an actual zebra. It's just a freaking mule. Painted. Oh my god. That was an accident. We won't. We will not be talking about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not talk about that. Come on. The zebra has been calmed and we'll follow you. Drops better not rub off on my pants. That drop was just too, too, too freaking sudden. Nope. Stop that. Stop that real quick. I got lucky with that stop. Oh, there we go. Alright, here's the gap I was looking for. 
And we need our horse to follow just in case he doesn't want to come back later. They do, what does he do to this horse? To this mule? I keep on getting it confused with the, the horse because of how it looks. Man, just because I feel bad for it. What should I feed you? Jensen. You're okay, boy. There you go. Eat up. I hope. Oh my god. I feel like I feel bad for getting back this mule now. I feel like he mistreated this. Oh wait, can I shoot that thing? I okay, so I learned that certain animals can be shot with a with a repeater. And I think that coyote might be one of them. Hmm. Interesting homestead. Wait no, that's the that's the that's the horse horse place. Nah, alright, let's just forget about it. Let's deliver off this meal. Because I just wanna see what's gonna happen and what his explanation for freaking coloring a mule is gonna be hating a mule. Oh my gosh. But I didn't really believe it because who would bring a zebra to the west? Well, we're more in the east now, but who who still would bring a zebra here? Let's find out his explanation. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <clears throat> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There. In the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, <laughs> as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right. Find the tiger handler. And everything else. Let's go. I don't want to devote an entire episode to that though, so I, can't, I just kind of want to go do Duchess thing. We'll, we'll do the rest of that once we're done. Or maybe even in the next episode. Bro! Ah! Ragdoll physics. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Sorry about that horse. Easy, I'm gonna feed this horse a quick apple, because I feel bad. I only have one apple anyway, so here. So right now we are a little bit on the good side now, boys. We finally worked our way up. We helped out that, that poor man who got in by a snake. Why he was out there is still unknown, but uh, let's just uh, remember that we got good karma, I guess. Also, we can't use any weapons and stuff right now. Which is gonna be interesting. We cannot rob anything. We can't do any of that. We have to try to not cause any trouble in this town. And we'll see if that actually works. Your hands. Hello? Steady. Oh. Oh. Easy, fella. What cargo are you bringing through here? Easy there. Move on through. We're trying boy. to get these supplies to the federal building. Here. It's on the knee. 
Oh, you're done for now. Ah! Oh, God! Leave him alone. Woo. All right, helped out that feller. We didn't get any good karma, but I can still loot loot him up. And I knew that they were the Lemoyne Raiders. Like after after meeting them, we know who the who like the O'Driscolls of this part of the world is. So which is that's interesting. A letter. It's probably just gonna just gonna be a couple like things to do. Go to any gun shop, gunsman shop to buy the bandolier and gun belt equipment so you can hold more ammunition. Ooh, let's go buy one. Yeah. Let's go get one so we can go hold more stuff. Can I get past this post Easy though? Now. Oh man, I hope my horse ain't for this. Come here. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Let me take off this mask. I hope that helped the, that feller though. But I wonder what this mission will offer. And I know, I know it's right here, but I don't want to do it at the moment. We'll come back, because after Dutch's mission, we could probably just come back through. So, uh, it's fine. Also, isn't there, isn't there a fence right here? There should, there should be, yeah, there's a fence right there. But it, I guess it's not open because of that time at the moment, so. That's fine, but, hmm, interesting. I do want to hit the gun shop though, just because of what they said about holding more ammunition and stuff, but we can always do that later. Let's go. Let's see what this mission has to offer. Let's go, boys. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. All right, let's get back. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. 
I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the who stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Hmm. Interesting. So these two families have a big, massive view. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yeah. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? I noticed those exits, so I was wondering what that was. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Wait, okay. Oh, so I can't use my sixth sense right now? No. Alright. Keep your eyes open. I want one of that canned fruit, bruh. Hmm. This must have happened recently. Mm. There we go, canned vegetable. Hey, come have a look at this. Hey, you should see this. Whoa. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Hmm. Interesting. So, the Lemoyne Raiders does not let their victims live. That's all, that's all we've just learned. They do not let them live. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm driving now, I guess? Never mind. It was just Archibald with being slow. All right, let's go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll right. direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories, let me tell you town preacher and town sheriff to drink a sailor under the table before breakfast they're right again here he had one tiny hand like a child on the end of a grown man's arm but anyway this tells you what kind of people the braithwaites are selling moonshine to murderers i tell folks don't even speak to him don't even look him in the eye i'm sure i would hmm. interesting the braithwaites are some bad people Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, 
then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill... Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Hmm. Let's take left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Arch. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Hey. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there. Gotta say, I love his vision, Colin. Or all his cone of vision. Okay, Bill, Bill is gone. I'll take the lead. You wait here. I'll be with him. Okay. Make it quick. This bastard. Nothing. And that was clean. I, I think there's another one by the still. Alright, let's take him out. Alright, so I cannot, I can't go full stealth the whole way out. I do have to, like, I can't just hold it down, is what I'm saying. Right, so I just have to sneak over there. I have to be a little bit more patient. This fella is not even going to know what's about to happen to him. I'll tie him. Pick up the moonshiner. What if we were to accidentally drop him into the swamp? Alright, carry the moonshiner to the wagon. I wonder if we can just get a, a couple things of moonshine for free then. Good work, gentlemen. destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Train heist gone wrong. Alright. There go. Place the moon. Place the dynamite right there. Ignite. Oh shoot, we gotta run. Oh shoot, there's more. They know where it, they know. And I don't have my... That belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you sons of bitches! Oh, okay. Shit. We got men over here! Uh. Alright, we do need to upgrade this gun because this, this is too... Whew, that took almost too many shots. Oh my god, I just got help so much. One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. I'm just gonna pick out a freaking tree. Pop, 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 pop. Woo! Uh, 
shotgun because it's just two of them now. Be gone. One more. Bad bad. Woo, that man got some flying bad. Okay, there is there isn't one house. Never mind, he's dead. Alright, we're turning Dutch. Let's loot their bodies, boy. I need this loot. Also, how far back is Dutch? Cause we just went guns ablazing in this town. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Oh, shut up. I d I've just got potent bitters. Ooh, I'm gonna have uh, so much stuff to sell to the fence, it won't even be funny. All right. I'll see you over here. Thanks, okay, you do that. Alright, sorry about this, guys, but I have to get this loot. Because, uh, yeah. I will have so much to sell to the guy, that's to the fence. We will be paid back in full. We will have a lot of money back. Also, these are these are all stolen items, which is that's crazy. Oh, well, they probably stole it from somebody else, but these are all their valuables and jewelry. So most of them have had jewelry and stuff. And I've noticed so far, not a single one was a, was a woman. Whew. These were all men. And as you said, they were all ex-military, so... We're just going to be killing a lot of guys, which is... Interesting, I have to say. Because every group we come across... So Actually, no, no, no. The O'Driscolls are kind of like the same. And how they treated Sadie, I felt bad. I'm going to take this. I doubt need it. Alright, we looted everything. Let's say goodbye to these men and let's go. But yeah, there are a lot of diverse bad guys I've have to say so far. We've seen some diverse gangs at the moment. Uh, but this could be an interesting one. All these all these like different enemy types have been interesting. The Lemoyne Raiders, the Adriscoll, who will we come across next, who knows? Oh and also the Pinkertons. Bandits Pinkertons, every single one has been interesting so far. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life it. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. All right, let's go. Near camp, yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. it... Alright, we got all our guns. I need my repeater. Oh wait, we still have that rifle too. That rifle's like a... It, no, it is a one shot, which is crazy. Lasso out. I need to switch this sawed off. Yep, there we go. We're good. Trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. 
This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? All right, let's go. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go. Really start, but okay. Ooh, his horse is quick. But not as quick as my girl. Boy, you never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Watch out. What's you talking about, Dutch? Okay there, boy. Alright. <laughs> Our horse is a boy, I almost forgot. Alright, let's go. Come on, boy, come on, let's roll. That's a nice looking train right there. But ain't got enough time for it. Let's go. No, no, no. Oh my god, why are you getting stuck on hay? Bro, what? No, what is up with my horse, bro? Ah, oh, come on. I was winning that, too. That's some bull. What? I got stuck on a door. I was about to win. Yeah, so I actually have to look it. Come on, come on, let's go. And then we're getting stuck on stuff, boy. And we are already hot on his tail. Ooh, we are back, Dutch. What you doing? You slowing up, Dutch? Right here. What were you talking about, Dutch? What were you talking about, Dutch? Cause I just passed you up, boy. Even with getting getting lag on the hay, or a glitch on the hay, I guess we still in this. And we have won. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Orchard. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well. Time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Hmm. Nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe that is gonna be the episode for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now let's go look out, let's go to the water, and let's go look at, at the beautiful sea. There's our boy, Jose. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Alright. And now, well, as I was saying, let's go look out off the dock. Yeah, we just said my name. Was that Tilly? You think you can make this place work? I think that was Tilly. I think, yeah, I think that was Tilly. Don't know why she said my name, though, but... Alright, as I've been trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, let's look out at this beautiful sea. And I shall give our episode a sign out. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. But until then, this is your humble host, Cold World James, here, signing out. I love you guys. And until then, au revoir and peace. Later.